The Appalachian Trail is a 2,190 mile trail that winds its way through the mountains of the eastern United States. Not only has it got beautiful scenery, but it's hard, and it sometimes is very hard. And then there's the weather, the snow, the rain, and there's a lot of rain. There's the cute animals, the dangerous animals, and the very dangerous animals. My name's Brad, but on the hiking trails, I'm known as Shepherd. This is the Appalachian Trail, and this is my story. Did I mention I smell gross? Like really gross. Deodorant can't fix this smell. This is day one of the Appalachian Trail. Just started up the top of Springer Mountain. And these are my first footsteps in Georgia. So I've got about 2,190 miles or something like that to go. Hopefully my body will hang on. I wanna go this under. I know we're going somewhere. Set myself aside, be the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, we can start and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay, waking up to another day. day. So, this is my new umbrella setup. And here we are, day one of the Appalachian Trail, and guess what's happened? Started to rain. But I'm completely dry. So I've just rigged it up with a couple of little elastic straps around here. Let's see if we can have a look. You can see these straps are holding it in. Base goes in there, this one up here, and that's good enough to keep me hands free. It's our first campsite. Actually, I'm surprised there's not nobody here. There's absolutely nobody here. But it's a nice flat section, so it'll make a good, nice camp for the night. It does look like dog's vomit. Oh, I can assure you it tastes nice. Plenty of calories. Oops. Can't leave that for the bears. Have to eat that bit. Mm, five second rule. Mm. It's an amazing thing when you wake up in the morning and you have no idea where your destination's going to be. I have no idea how far I'm going to walk today, who I'm going to meet, what the scenery's going to be like. But I'm really looking forward to it. It's a beautiful morning. one of the small little water sources that we got a drink off but I got a filter that I throw on the end and should be all good to go. Ah oh, it's the end of the day too and here comes the rain. My shirt inside out. Oh, got a little bit of rain this morning. But so far my umbrellas keep me nice and dry. Even though climbing up this great big hill it is uh, doing a good job making me sweat. I love it. <laughs> it's just the, um, that just enough light drizzle. Now look at that, I'm steaming man, I'm steaming. Smoking hot. That Cheap is. one. Just scored myself some uh, Miller Life, the um, oh, yeah, right. champagne of beers apparently. Yeah, so nice. cheers.
after only four days on the trail, I ended up with the dreaded norovirus. It gave me a bad case of diarrhoea, and I had an awful lot of vomiting. It also took away all my energy. Luckily, it lasted less than 24 hours, and I just kept on hiking. All I can do is keep walking forward. The weather was great when I left Fontana Dam on route to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The trail made for nice easy hiking and I was able to hike past a couple of nice looking critters like this box turtle. But the weather forecast for tomorrow was storms, low cloud and high wind. Another day. We got a bit of sunlight coming out. I had to stop using the camera yesterday because it got wet and uh, it, uh, wasn't really liking being turned on very much. It was a very drizzly, cold, wet day. Everything got soaked. But it's clear this morning and I'm just about to climb the highest mountain on the whole of the Appalachian Trail, Klingman's Dome. So I've just come out of the town of Irwin and it's really cold. I've only got one more layer left in my uh, backpack and that's my puffy down jacket. After that, that is every single bit of clothing that I've got that I'm wearing right now. Uh, I haven't got any gloves, but I got a spare pair of socks that I could put on. Hmm. For the rest of the afternoon, the snow continued to come down and I kept on hiking, but it got to the point where I just started to get a little bit too cold 
So I just set up camp for the night. Oh, it's a little bit cold here. A little bit below freezing. And um, a little bit of mixed snow and rain coming through. And I'm just about to cook up some dinner. <sighs> it was a very cold morning when I set off hiking, just after sunrise. The storm yesterday left patches of snow on the trail, and the further I hiked that day, the more snow there was. Set up camp early and enjoyed a nice hot meal. Where you go, I follow. So take me higher where the white winds blow. Return to the sun where I see. So I'm just wandering down now to Over Mountain Shelter, which a lot of people just call the Red Barn. So let's go and check it out. So all these little things are used to hang backpacks overnight. These things are supposed to uh, stop the ninja mice from coming down and getting whatever's inside there. Every year during the main hiking season, the small town of Damascus, Virginia holds trail days. It's a gathering of all the best outdoor vendors from around the world and an opportunity to celebrate the trail and catch up with some old hiking buddies. Shepard, how are ya? Living the dream, man. Woo! East West! I'm hiking East West this year! <laughs> Waterproof cameras are great. They're perfect for hiking. <laughs> yeah, they are. 
This has been pretty good, isn't it? It is. This Look is the first time I've been rained on the entire trail. I know. I know. Everything else has been picture perfect. It's been sunny days, and about 75 degrees. Look how many people are ahead of us. There's oh, like Jesus. Hundreds. We're never going to catch them. No. We're going to hike faster. Yeah, that's good. Well, that was the march through town, class of 2017. That was fun. What do you think? Oh, I'm glad I brought reindeer. <laughs> I left Damascus, Virginia with two hiking buddies, Shogun and Delicate Flower. We were en route to the Grayson Highlands hoping to take in some great scenery and find the very famous wild ponies. Ooh, just gonna take this little side trail here up to the summit of Mount Rogers. And it is the highest mountain in all of Virginia. What are you guys doing? Hey, we're about to go up to the highest point in Virginia, Mount Rogers. Nice. You guys are stashing your packs. Yeah. Very well hidden there in the bushes. Yeah, yeah, I no can't one can see no, one, no one can see that. It's a complete nothing no chance so now we're going up to the summit and we don't even know where it is it's right here right so we was we were standing on it yeah. all right this is the summit yeah, he's standing on the is that it this little marker right here on the thing that little There's marker one on that one over there to make more picture opportunities this is the summit highest point in Virginia. It's pretty stunning view, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. This is so amazing. I can, I can crop out his butt. All right. Let's head back down now. <laughs> right. Well, that was like the worst bonus miles we've done. Yeah, but you never have to do it again. I'm, I'm never <laughs> hiking a half mile just to go up a mountain that I know you ever again. I'm life. never going to hike to the highest point in Virginia ever again. Yeah, but you know, now you got the picture, it goes to the grandkids or like, the grandparents or you, whatever. You would think they would like clear off the trees to actually make it like worthwhile, but no, that was garbage. Uh, let's go and look at some wild ponies. Ponies! Wild ponies! My little pony! My little pony! We got ponies. We made our way down to the distant wild ponies. As we got closer, one of the curious leaders of the group came up to check us out and we had absolutely no idea what was going to happen next. inches lower I'd be done. <laughs> That'd be end of the Appalachian Trail for me. Yeah and no Father's Day for you yeah. ever. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can find uh, somewhere else to go hiking. Turns out Shogun was very lucky and he was able to continue hiking. All right we've just meet, reached this place. Uh, what's it called? Fat Man's Gut? Fat Man's Fat Gap? Man Fat Man's Squeeze? And this is actually a part of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, uh, can just make it through. Oh, one thing about today, the views have certainly been stunning. And we are in, I think this place is the Grayson Highlands. Oh, we're just having a rest stop. I packed out this high quality uh, PBR. Apparently it won an award once. <laughs> A long time ago. Jesus. Blue ribbon. <laughs> time to lighten the backpack. Want you want some? <laughs> Cheers. Tastes like heaven. Some? Sure, thanks. PBR and oatmeal. Hey, one drink? Sure. <laughs> Is oh, that your new nickname, one drink? <laughs> it's no balls. <laughs> it's no balls, sorry. <laughs> mm. Let's go and get some Mexican food. 
What's happening? We are a quarter of the way. 547.25 miles. Woohoo! <laughs> you guys look tired. It's the, it's the Mexican it's food. The giant Mexican lunch. <laughs> Food. <laughs> is that the PCT message? Yes. Just put it in the tent? Yes, use it as a pillow. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Out in stormy weather, I might have the blues, but nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground. I don't even know if you can hear me at the moment. It's absolutely chucking it down with rain at the moment. So I'm wrapped up inside my sleeping bag and I'm just about to have some awake English breakfast. Water's just about boiled and that's my view. Looking out in the rain, it's peaceful. There's my horizon. Love watching little raindrops just hit the, the little tiny leaves of these little trees that are trying to grow. Mm. Well, the rain from last night's finally ended. Thank goodness, I think it rained all night. But it's clear this morning, and we're back on trail up on the high ridges. There's little bits of view off that way and a little bit of view that way but it's not that great more rains expected so I expect it's not too long before I'm gonna get absolutely soaking wet again hopefully I can at least get half the day in without getting soaked weather was slowly starting to clear as I made my way to a place called the Dragon's Tooth. And there it's only a short hike to get to one of the most well-known places on the Appalachian Trail, McAfee Knob. been the end of a pretty hard day but the views are pretty nice <laughs> I 
gonna carry food for the next 130 miles. And I decided to get a lot of sort of heavy food, and I'm paying the price already. I've only done two miles, and from my 15 pound base weight, I think my backpack probably weighs close to 40 pounds. <sighs> Silly, I know better than that. And almost right on cue, here comes the rain again. Tell you what, if you want to hike the Appalachian Trail, if you don't like rain, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Might be a bit difficult for you. I don't mind the rain. I actually quite enjoy the rain. Although a nice one or two week stretch full of sunny weather would make things really nice right now. I'm still in high spirits. Today is my first 30 mile day of the whole trail. And I'm exhausted. 12 and a half hours to do the 30 miles. Another hour and 10 minutes of sunlight. I just want to find somewhere to stop. There's nowhere. I'm starting to run out of energy. But you just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Left foot, right, left, right. And you just keep going forward. Because that's what we do. Can't stop. I don't know why, just can't stop. So much better. Tents up. 31.3 miles, my first 30 for the Appalachian Trail. Tents up. I've got about 45 minutes of sunlight left. And then cooking up some pasta and I'm ready to go to sleep. Did I mention I smell gross? Like really gross. Deodorant can't fix this smell. There's certain parts of the body that deodorant just can't make smell any better. Appalachian Trail. <laughs> morning and today is day 50 on the trail and I'm gonna hit mile 900 today mile 900 I still haven't seen one bear hmm. hopefully that'll change 
Hey bear! This bear is like way too close. Oh, my hand's shaking. Hey bear! Go away! That's the way. Go away. Go away, bear. Go away. Go away, bear. It's not too bad. 900 miles. And just for a change, it's raining. Exciting day today. Somewhere around here, I'm going to hit the 1,000 mile mark. Ah, there it is, just there. 1,000 miles. I'm pretty happy with that. Or a little bit further along the trail, maybe one minute's walk, there's some sort of official sign. 1,000 miles. Either way, 1,000 miles now. But the thing that's going to be amazing about today a visit to the post office. I get a new pair of shoes. Oh, you have no idea how amazing a new pair of shoes can make somebody feel. After a short visit to Washington DC, I headed back on trail and headed off through to the state of Pennsylvania, which has a big reputation for loads of rocks and loads of rattlesnakes. Got a little bit of a problem down here. Got a rattlesnake right in front of me. And he doesn't really want to get off the trail. I don't think he wants to bite me. Might get out the GoPro and see if I can get a nice close up. After seeing that nice rattlesnake, now every single stick that I see, well, there's one, every single stick that I see starts to look like a rattlesnake. Yeah. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, it's a stick snake. Loads of those here in Pennsylvania. But very soon, well, tomorrow I think it is, I'm going to be at the actual halfway point. Halfway point on the Appalachian Trail. Awesome. Just over a thousand miles ago. There's a tradition on the Appalachian Trail that once you reach the halfway mark, you head to the general store just afterwards and try and demolish half a gallon of ice cream. That's around two litres. So that's one and a half litres of ice cream. Finished. Uh, apparently I haven't finished. After I've eaten this, I've got to eat that. And then that's a half gallon. got really dark all of a sudden and really windy and there's a few flashes of thunder and lightning off in the distance and that wind that's blowing all those trees I don't know whether you can see that but I'm gonna get dumped on very soon That didn't take long, now the sun's out, the storm's finished, 
and it's probably not going to be long before it gets ridiculously hot and ridiculously humid. Just another day on the Appalachian Trail. When hiking really long distances, the body has these incredible cravings. Sometimes it's pizza, sometimes it's just fresh fruit, and sometimes you've just got to sit outside Walmart and eat all you can. a place they call I think it's called the knife's edge and it's all these ridiculous rocks here that we got to climb over oh the view's pretty nice oh actually gets a little bit steeper up there I'm gonna put this camera down and keep walking my way through the states of Pennsylvania and New Jersey into New York State. I was going to head into the big city of New York to have a little look around with a good friend of mine, Rocky, former Pacific Crest Trail hiker. Well, it's quite a bit rocky in New York and I'm joined by Rocky. Say hello, Rocky. Hello. We just had a couple of days in New York. And Rocky's going to join me for just a couple of miles here on the Appalachian Trail. cave gets even narrower just see the walls are just my shoulders are bumping into each one it's a little bit narrow what do you think yes it is <laughs> you wonder why backpacks don't last very long in this kind of stuff it's because it's really tight going What just happened? What? I have a tick. You have a tick? Yes. You want to see? The tick? How do I do it? Just grab? Twist it to the left. Twist it to the left. Okay, I got it. Is it complete? Yes. Was the head still inside of me? No. No. Oh. It's all gone. Okay. There's nothing there. Uh, back hiking after that little incident with the ticks. There's so many ticks on this trail, like seriously. Every day I'm finding at least one tick on me. Not always biting me, but on me for like the last month. And this is New York and uh, yeah, it's been pretty bad and Rocky had a bit of an incident. Yeah, well, I survived. So far. Alright, we're gonna go and get some doxycycline and uh, make sure that Lyme disease stuff doesn't kick in because it's pretty common here. Pretty cool you can like see New York City from the Appalachian Trail. Yes, it is. And also, oh it's a bit windy now, and also the Hudson River just straight ahead through all these trees. Now this would be a great spot to camp. 
right here. Well, again, on the Appalachian Trail, it's raining. We've been packing up our tent in the rain. Right now, I'm standing at the lowest point on the Appalachian Trail. Not only is the lowest point at 130 feet, but it's a zoo, complete with bears and snakes and lizards and birds and bobcats and other stuff like that. Now I've got to go and cross the Hudson River. Just heading across the bridge that goes across the Hudson River. So if I go off down to my right there and go far enough, I'll be in New York City. And off to my left, I don't know where that goes. Back to hiking solo. Rocky's gone back to Germany. But we might catch up with her a little bit further on somewhere. I don't know what this deer is doing. Now, don't be confused. Most of this is actually sweat. Even though it's pouring down with rain. A little bit further to go and I'll be at the top. Well, I reached the summit in the rain. But, not really any view. Well, that rainstorm has just passed and I'm now in another state. Massachusetts. I kind of zipped through Connecticut real quick and I've been hiking alone for I don't know a couple of hundred miles or so since Rocky left. Lots of rain overnight and I slept in this morning because I could. And there's not much views going on. I don't even know how far down that is. Ooh. Probably better with my fear of heights that I don't. a bit of a hike but we're now at the highest point in Massachusetts Mount Greylock so what's this this is Vermont Get up outside and rules Oh The pavement and the long, long roads Yeah And you're always in such a rush mm. With your life playing from the stereo This is Vermont. I um, have had a not so good last couple of days. My uh, phone got soaked in a downpour. It doesn't work anymore. And with it not working, I have no maps, no guidebooks, no GPS. I don't know where the next water is. I don't know where the next shelter is. All I'm doing is following these little white markers on the trees. And that is the only way that I know that I'm on the Appalachian Trail. Luckily, it's marked really well. But in the last couple of days, it's been so cool. One of my old CDT hiking buddies called Early Bird. She lives like two miles from the trail. She put me up. I was able to organize a new phone to be posted ahead. So it's like going to turn up 
about 22 miles from here which means I've got a bit of a well, I had a late start so an overnight hike and hopefully I'll have a phone tomorrow and hopefully I can work out how to transfer on my maps and guidebooks onto the phone and then get back into it thank you Vermont for being awesome except for the rain that destroyed my camera <laughs> oh, Appalachian Trail the omelette guy is one of the many trail angels I met while hiking the Appalachian Trail he fed me up with as many omelettes as I can eat and after a quick pat with his friendly dog Oi, doggy. It gave me all the energy I needed to climb up Mount Musalaki. Down at the base of Mount Musalaki in the White Mountains and from here I have like a 4,000 odd foot climb. Like if you just have a look on the GPS here, it'll say what 4,000 odd foot, I'm right at the bottom. And it's getting late in the afternoon. It's like almost five o'clock. I don't even know if I'm going to make it there, but I'm going to give it a go. Getting these occasional glimpses of beautiful scenery both sides here when the, when the little stunted trees. Oh, I can see the summit. Woohoo! Well, this is the biggest buzz I've had in a long time. Holy crap. Did I mention it's my birthday? Not a bad spot to watch the sunset on a birthday. Completely alone. Honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Good night. down off uh, Musalaki this is some really steep climbing or descending going down I would not want to be doing this if it was pouring rain or snow or sleet it's very steep so check out all these mountain views forecast good weather it's raining and there's thunder around and I'm stuck on top of a mountain this place up here seriously stunning well definitely wrong on the was it gonna rain here because I'm up on the high point and it's raining something magical about hiking before sunrise so you can get to see all the magical changes of colours. about another one mile or so to the summit of Mount Washington and already the clouds are starting to come in that's the summit right behind me there and 
car. Right, I'm hoping I can get a view. Now that I'm at the top, I get to join all the normal tourists. This is what normal people do. like you can only get lucky for so long and then you got to put up with this did I mention that my stomach hurts my knees hurt and my ankle hurts this is the Appalachian Trail I was trying to make it to the main border as quick as possible for the last couple of hundred miles I've been hiking on and off with a guy called Thumper and we were going to try and make it to Mount Katahdin together. This is part of the climb up the Wildcat Mountains. So we've got to go all the way up there, up on this. Bumper and I kept moving forward through New Hampshire with the goal to make it to Maine. After 113 days of hiking, I made it to the last state on the Appalachian Trail, Maine. Just about to hike into what's called the Mahusik Notch, which almost everybody says is the one hardest one mile on the whole Appalachian Trail. Can't wait to go through there. Let's find out why it's so difficult.
with my Hursic notch. That was fun. <sighs> no, really it was. What? Good morning. Just having a little bit of a rest break. Yesterday was an amazing day. Oh, crawling through Mahusik Notch and then the rest of the day. But a big storm came through and I'm just sitting on a mountain here. And just down there, I'm watching these, these clouds just roll on up the side of the mountain. Oh. The Appalachian Trail in Maine is pretty amazing. These views up here in Maine? Wow. Gotta be seen to be believed. I'm about to get myself very wet. That storm coming in behind me there. You know, just another day. It's only water. Although, I am up on some high points here, hopefully. Don't get any thunder and lightning with it. Otherwise, I'll be running. Day 122, we found ourselves at the Kennebec River. From there we had to take a ferry. The only other option was to swim. A ferry is actually a canoe. Thumper and I continued our march north. For the most part we had good weather. We made our way into the last resupply town that we could find called Monson. Then from there, we hitchhiked back out onto the trail for the 100 mile wilderness. So this is the start to the 100 mile wilderness and apparently I need a minimum of 10 day supplies. I've got like four or five. I'll be right. Finally made it to camp. Time for me to go to sleep. With 30 miles to go to our next resupply, we had completely run out of food. We had absolutely nothing left. Luckily there were plenty of fresh blueberries and we were lucky to meet a few southbound hikers that could spare a couple of chocolate bars to give us a little bit more energy. Right now, this is our last sunset. Tomorrow we're going to be climbing Mount Katahdin. This is my last day up climbing up into Katahdin. Last day on the Appalachian Trail and last day of the Triple Crown. And I'm only like a third of the way up this mountain and oh boy, 
It's no joke. Some serious climbing here. I'd hate to be doing this in bad weather. It's not really a hike to get up to the top of Mount Katahdin. More a bit of a climb. Lucky for us, the weather was quite good early on. But as we kept making our way higher and higher, the clouds started rolling in. So we tried to hike up as fast as we could. This was day 129. And really it's hard to explain the emotions that I was feeling as I was climbing up to the top. 129 days of hard effort, physically and mentally, we're all going to come to an end today. And it wasn't just me, every other hiker feels it. To put so much effort into one single project and then to realise that it's coming to an end, it's an amazing feeling. There is absolutely nothing like finishing a long distance hiking trail. Absolutely nothing. Three years, three long trails, and it all ends now. Uh, this is the top. Appalachian Trail. Oh man. Uh, thank you. Made it. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, triple crown done.